This kind of setup really is just like we were looking at before, except I'm just looking for something different. I'm looking for an angle instead of looking for a side. Okay? So I'm going to use the same idea though, because the sine rule tells me just as much about angles as it does about sides. Okay? So I'm going to write this same idea up with one subtle difference. Remember here, I'll just point out to you this first line of um, actual working in here. Right? See how I purposely put the X there at the top left to make it easiest for me so I don't have to rearrange things and all that kind of thing. X is what I want to solve, so that's why I put it front and center. Okay? Now here, I'm trying to find an angle, not a side. So instead of writing A on sine A, B on sine B, I'm just going to write the whole thing upside down. Okay? Instead of A on sine A, I'll write sine A on A. And I'll write sine B on B. It's exactly the same rule. I'm just rearranging it, I'm manipulating it a little bit just to make it easier to find what I'm after. Okay? So I've got sine A on A equals sine B on B. Let me just make a quick note about writing formulas. I think it's always handy to write formulas, the formulas themselves without any actual values from the question, first. Not because that formula gets you any marks, but because writing a formula down in exactly the way that you remember it helps you write the next step clearly and accurately. Okay? So it's not like a meritorious line like, hey, I wrote down the formula, don't I deserve something for that? It's like, well, no, I'm writing that down so I can do this next step correctly and not accidentally rearrange anything. So sine A, that'll be this angle that I want. X, Z, Y. Bless you. So I'm going to write sine of X, Z, Y. Okay. And just like before, I'm going to match up opposite features. If it helps you, use another color and literally draw across the lines, arrows, to match up angles with their opposite side. You see that? Angle with their opposite side. So 28.6 is going to be the denominator over here. And once I move on to the right hand side, I need the other pair, right? So I will get another color. Yes? I don't, sorry. Um, I've got my angle on the top, so here's my other angle, right? 121, sine 121, divided by, and I look at, conveniently, the only thing left, which is the opposite side, right? So that's 38.5. Okay, having lined all of this up, I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is just like what I had before. Let's write this all down together, that I've got sine of x, z, y, and what I want to put into my calculator is this. Multiply that guy across, and divide. Okay. Now, once you pop that into your calculator, I'm going to do the same as well. <clears throat> 28.6. Don't forget to close any brackets that your calculator inserts for you. Okay, what are you getting? Okay, now if I just hit equals on this, before I get to that, I'm getting a decimal, aren't I? I'm getting this 0 0.63 blah 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 blah, okay? Now, you look at this and clearly, I mean this angle is small, but it's not that small, okay? So 0 0.636 is not the angle, it's sine of the angle. And of course, we remember, sine is always between negative one and one. That's why we're getting this small value, okay? So I'm actually just gonna put that step in there. Sine x, z, y equals zero point. And yes, yeah, six, three, six, seven, et cetera. Okay, so that's there in my calculator. While it's still there, I don't want sine the angle, I just want the angle. So what am I gonna do in my calculator? Yeah, I wanna get rid of the sine, so I'll go sine, inverse by using the shift button and then you pop your answer in and you get an angle out. Okay, so if we go, what have I given to you? Let's go nearest unit, nearest degree. Okay, so we're getting x, z, y being 39.55 blah 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 blah. Right? So now I will approximate. Okay, there to the nearest unit. Now again, pause. Does it look good? Does it make sense? <coughs> like I did here, I did a common sense check, right? That number made sense here. Does this number make sense here? 
I think it does. I think it looks good. You're like, yeah, that's, that's about 40. You'd expect this angle to be smaller because the side opposite is also smaller, okay? So, happy times, right? Hmm, maybe. <laughs>